traveling alone is completely different to like traveling with other people. It's not that I feel alone at all. It's just that I would love to be able to show this to Carmila, to Yae, you know, to someone else. I think it's weird to see so many nice things and not being able to share it with anyone. Sharing it like this, like making videos and stuff. It's also, it's also nice. It's also special. My walk through the philosopher's path or path of philosophy has been one of the most memorable experiences I've had in Kyoto. Maybe it's because my father is a philosopher and my boyfriend's a philosopher. Or maybe there's some other reason I don't fully understand yet. In Japanese, it's called Tetsugaku no Michi. I was completely alone and most of the time this was the only sound I heard. It took me quite a few hours to finish. At first I was terribly hot. We were at 33 degrees Celsius and I was hungry and hot. And I didn't know how long it would take me to finish it. But after the sun started going down and the wind started blowing, it was actually really, really nice. I even sat down to read. People kept telling me that it was more beautiful in the spring when it's full of cherry blossoms and also prettier in the autumn where everything is red and gold. But I think it was still beautiful in the middle of the scorching summer. The path is on the east side of Kyoto. And it takes its name from a philosopher called Nishida Kitaro. I don't know anything about his philosophy. I'm also staying near the Ginkakuji Temple, which is the Golden Pavilion. A Mishima book is named after it. I haven't read anything by Mishima. During all of the years I've been waiting to come to Japan, I've read books by Japanese authors that take place in Japan. Some of them are fading from my memory, and some of them I remember vividly. They have helped me shape the ideas I have of their culture. But sitting here, trying to remember Japanese phrases from my Japanese lessons, characters, from the books I loved so much. I felt like I knew nothing about Japan and would never come to know it. I am rereading some of my favorite books. At first I thought it would be too much being in a place I dreamed to be, rereading books I know to be my favorite. What would happen after this? <laughs> what if nothing was ever as good as this? Mm -hmm. 
After the sun went down, I was the only one left. I went down the path. Walking the streets where so many things had happened before me. And suddenly I didn't feel the same anymore. I felt sure more good things were going to come. I could almost hear it. And I felt guided by the moon, showing itself behind the mountain.